Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm going to throw up a quick video here showing the belt configuration on this Artsway finish mower. I will put the model that it is in the description. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, two reasons, is one, uh, they don't make this mower anymore and there's got to be a lot of them out there and when I looked online I could not find a diagram for this belt at all. So it ended up uh, I stared at it forever. It took me a long time to figure out how to put it on, so I'm putting it up in case somebody else wants to uh, know how the belt works, or next time it breaks, I'm going to need this video so I can see how to put it back on. To get at the belt, there's two um, covers that you have to pull off. Right there is a one, it's just a 9 16 um, nut on there, and there's one on the other side. You have to pull those two, and these come right off. When you do this and you first get in here, that tightener, this pulley, the tightener, pulley, whatever this is, will also swing all the way around this way. But this that puts this at an angle, so just remember this has to stay straight, then you'll know that it goes the position of this. And then it's just got the one big pulley right there. That's one of the spindles that runs one of the blades. There's this one here, and there's one on the other side. So it only hits this big one for a short time. It doesn't go all the way around. I tried doing that and then the belt was too short. So anyway, it just comes around here. And then it just goes straight over, or well, kind of at an angle, over to this pulley. And it goes back around over here. Goes behind that idler pulley. And then goes around that right there. You also have to pull these covers to get down at the Zerk fittings. You're supposed to uh, grease these about every 20 hours of use. So there's one on every single spindle, and they're fairly easy to get at. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll take one more look at this belt configuration. I sure hope this helps somebody. I know it's going to help me in the future. I will see you guys on the next video.